to make my 4th of July cheesecake. Let's make the base to our cheesecake. We're going to need one tablespoon of coconut oil, half a cup of cashews and one and a half cups of oats. Now we're going to blend this up. I've added my oats into my blender. I'm going to add my cashew nuts. Then I'm going to blend this on a medium to low speed first. And it takes about five seconds, depending on the quality of your blender. I've got a very high powerful one, but it may take longer. It's just got to not be too powdery like. You're going to need a small saucepan on a low hob. And I'm going to put one tablespoon of coconut oil to melt. And this won't take very long. I've taken my saucepan off the hob and put a heat protector underneath. Now I'm going to pour in my blended mixture of oats and cashews and mix them. This is going to make a crumbly base. I've got a crumbly texture, not what I was looking for. So I'm going to add some more oil in. This is now the right consistency for the base. I have added three tablespoons in total, so that's two extra. Now you're going to need a nine inch or ten inch tin. And I'm going to place all of this in the bottom and press it down. I've got 25 minutes on my timer and I'm going to put this cheesecake base in the fridge. Hi, here I have got all my layers for the cheesecake, red, white and blue. Let's just talk about the first layer, the red layer. So you're going to need half a cup of raspberries, a whole cup of cashews, half a lemon, and one tablespoon of coconut oil. Let's start making this. I've got my cashew nuts in my blender and I'm going to pulse it. You might like to soak your cashew nuts overnight, but I didn't because I've got a really good blender. This should be a powdery type texture. I'm going to add my raspberries in next. So I have washed my hands and I'm going to squeeze my lemon. I'm going to catch all the pips allowing the juice to go through. There you go. And then blend this up on a low to medium blend. And remembering from time to time to use a spatula and scrape it down and then blend it again. Now I have scraped it, I'm going to add my coconut oil in and let's blend this up again on a low to medium blend. I have added a quarter to a third of liquid to this as I didn't have time to soak my cashews overnight. So now I'm going to put my first layer in, the red layer, into my base I've got out the fresh. Hi, I'm back with my trusty timer for 20 minutes. We're going to put this in the fridge. I have got some of the thicker stuff and now I'm going to use some of my poured off liquid to make a cup. The rest of the coconut milk can be used for another recipe later on. Now let's get my blender pour this in. I'm going to put this on a low to medium speed again. Hi, I have got this out the fridge and I'm going to add my coconut milk. Mm, it's gone a little bit wrong but this is DIY cheesecake. As it's a little bit liquid and then a bit lumpy, but we're going to spread it out and it will taste delicious no matter what. Got 30 minutes on my trusty timer. Let's put this in the fridge. Also, I've got a challenge for you. Let's see if you can make this cheesecake less DIY and more professional. Show me 
on my Instagram. I am ready to make my third layer, my blue layer. Let's um, blend up the cashew nuts. I have blended up my cashews and I'm going to put the rest of the ingredients in to make the blueberry layer. I've added three tablespoons in total. So also, I am going to put it on my cheesecake. Blueberry cheesecake into a piping bag and then start piping, starting from the middle and going outwards. This will form the top layer. I am going to put this in the freezer overnight so all the layers will set and then you'll see it tomorrow cut and ready. Hi, it's the next day. I've got my cheesecake out of the freezer and put it in the fridge for about two, three hours minimum. Now I'm going to take and flick the sides off. This makes it much easier. If you can't do this, you'll need to run a knife around the edge. Let's have a take. And I've made a rather a large slice, so you might want to make it slightly smaller. Let's see if you can make a better DOI 4th of July cheesecake. This one hasn't got many layers, but it looks delicious. I found something in my pocket, an egg. It'll be an excellent idea for my next video.